Yarn Peeps, I'm Ryan to the rescue, and I'm gonna do something very unconventional today. So, I go to a YouTube school, which is online, and it is by the company called Think Media. And I was just watching a course, and they challenged me to do something, which is to make a video, don't edit it at all, and post it today. And so, I'm gonna do that, I'm doing that right now. And I feel very um, unprepared and not ready. And, um, but you know what? Sean Cannell, the one who runs this whole Think Media thing, he says ready is a lie. So I'm just gonna go. And um, also I'm not gonna edit anything out. So you're gonna get all of my ums and blumbers that I normally edit out. Um, so I feel very nervous right now and normally when I produce my videos I put painstakingly tons of effort and research into it which I'm sure you appreciate um, but also I can kind of um, fall into perfectionism so anyway here we go so he challenged me to explain my um, what and how and why behind my YouTube channel. So my what is, what, what is my purpose of my YouTube channel? My purpose is to empower widows and single women to master new skills. And how comes next, what is my how? My dog, my dog just walked behind me. I don't know if you saw that or not, but okay. So my how, the how is I actually learn all kinds of skills and then I teach on my channel women how to do these things like how to maintain your dishwasher, how to add oil into your car, how to, um, I feel nervous now and so I can't think of things, but um, how to use a table saw and how to use a router and things like that and how to select um, medical insurance for their family. So it's, it's pretty broad, but it all has to do with um, widows and single women and sometimes even married women who have to do like a lot of things that are really uncomfortable or maybe they feel are outside of their realm of knowledge or or experience and things like that well um you probably know maybe some of my journey but i am also a widow and then when my husband died, I had to do a million things that I didn't know how to do. And that left me feeling very overwhelmed and scared and um, like I couldn't do stuff because I didn't know how to do things. So that's a terrible feeling. And I don't want you to feel that way. If you are a single woman or a widowed woman, I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to feel empowered. That's what this channel is about, is feeling empowered. And so the next thing is the why. And he says, your why should make you cry. And it does, I guess, because that's my why, is I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. And I don't want you to feel like you can't do these things because that just makes it all the much harder. I mean, the task is already hard if you have to fix your toilet. That's already hard to do. But if you feel like you can't do it or you're not capable of it, then that makes it even harder. So I wanna come alongside you and take away some of that hard part of it. And if you don't know how to do something, then you can turn in you can tune into my channel and you can learn how to do it. So that's my why and I guess it does make me cry. I did not plan that at all. 
because if I had planned it, I would have had a Kleenex with me because I am a planner. So this is really out of my comfort zone. Um, and I was really afraid to make this video, but another thing that Sean says is punch fear in the face and press record. So I did, and I am not editing this at all. Um, so I, I told you, I told you my what, and I told you my how, and I told you my why. So that's everything behind my channel. And um, I am really proud of you for tuning into this channel. I'm glad that you found me, and I hope that I can equip you to master new skills, and I hope that I can encourage you that it's not going to be this horrible downward spiral of doom and gloom and depression that you know you're single and you have to take care of these things because we can do it and that's another one of my slogans is we can do it and um so okay i'm glad you're here i hope that my content and my channel is helpful to you i truly do um, so I, I wanted to do this challenge because I'm not one to back away from a challenge. So here I am doing something that's so out of my comfort zone, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave you with something fun because, um, this is, this, I guess this video is, um, I don't know. We're, we're just so far out of the box here. And uh, I, I don't know. We're just going to do something else because um, I'm already out of my comfort zone and off brand here. So, so we're going to go on down the trail of more off brand information because I want to show with you. I want to show you a precious little <laughs> kangaroo. Did you think you were going to see that on this video today? Well, this little kangaroo's name is Geo, and he is a little Joey. And you know what? I might as well just tell you about kangaroos while I have this kangaroo in my arms and while I have your attention. He is a red kangaroo, and that is the largest marsupial in the world. And red kangaroos come from Australia and this one is a male and male red kangaroos grow up to be kind of a reddish color and um, they're called boomers and female kangaroos grow up to be kind of a grayish color you can see both red and gray on him now um, but the females grow up to be gray and they are called blue flyers and a marsupial means that they have a pouch and the baby kangaroo lives in the mama's pouch well let me back up so, um, a kangaroo is um, only pregnant, oh goodness, I didn't study my commentary right before I came on here because I just punched fear in the face and pressed record, but um, I think they're only pregnant for one month. Don't hold me to that because I always have to study my commentary before I go do a little program, but anyway, I think... Uh, kangaroos are only pregnant for one month and then they're when their baby joey is born they're really tiny they're like the size of a gummy bear they're bald and they're blind and the very first thing they do do you want to tell them geo what's the first thing that you do when you're born hmm what is it the first thing they do is they crawl right into their mama's pouch and then they finish their growing up in their mama's pouch and they stay there for six months and um, so this little guy he's only five months old and so he should still be in his pouch but unfortunately he was abandoned by his mama so he is being um, he is being fostered now um, by my company and um, uh, Anyway, so, so we have him and he loves to be in his pouch. That's why uh, he was in a pouch just now. But anyway, so we do animal programs with my company, which is called The Creature Teacher. And um, 
that has nothing to do with my YouTube channel, by the way. Absolutely nothing. I'm just showing you this kangaroo just for fun. Um, anyway, uh, so here we are. I'm just doing this video because I was challenged to do it quite off the bat and um, didn't think about it ahead of time. Just here we are because uh, that's, that's what I was told to do. But I do trust the school that I'm going to. It's called Video Ranking Academy. I trust them because not only does Sean have really, really good business sense and he's um, been really super successful in the YouTube industry, but also, and this is a side note because I didn't even know this when I signed up for the school, but he's a Christian and I'm a Christian. And so that just made me trust him even more. So I was excited when I heard that because it feels uh, maybe a little bit more comfortable taking business advice from a Christian because, um, because when you're building a YouTube channel, it's not, it's not just about, oh gosh, I want to be famous and I want to have lots of subscribers and I want to, um, I don't know, make a lot of money or whatever. It's not, it's not really all about that. It's about doing what God has called you to do. And God has called me to do this YouTube channel to empower women. And I, I feel proud to be coming alongside him in this mission because I know that, that God wants us us widows and us single women to feel empowered and not feel overwhelmed by stuff. So are you paying attention to me? Or are you totally distracted by the Joey in my arms? <laughs> I wouldn't blame you a bit if you're just watching him and you're not listening to me. Anyway, so that's all I have to say today. And um, I truly am not going to edit this. So I'm going to walk off camera and um, I'm not even cutting that part out. Um, his diaper's falling off. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to end this video in the way that I always do. And um, I did this really out of my comfort zone. And you know what? Maybe you have to do a lot of things out of your comfort zone too. And um, even if we are out of our comfort zones and we have a big challenge ahead of us, either way, we can do it. All right, now I walk off camera and then I will turn it off. And now I need to go make a cute little, little catchy thumbnail. And um, I have a lot to do today, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, because we can do it, right? Right, Gio? We can do it. All right, bye guys.